Hello everybody, this is John Evans, and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode, an episode about flea markets. Now, I love a good flea market, and we are nearing the end of flea market season, which is so tragic because uh, they're stacking them deep and selling them cheap. That's what they say at a used car dealership, um, at a car lot. But look, this flea market is in Friendsville. Uh, once a month they do this flea market. That's kind of uh, in close to Uniontown for me. So it's about an hour drive. And uh, it was worth it because I found a lot of vintage treasure. Like, for example, like this. Look at this guy. This vintage kitty cat at a $3 price tag. I got ended up getting him for $2. This little kitty cat. And, uh, yeah, very adorable. Um, it's got it. It had been repaired. This arm, you can see it been repaired, but expertly done. So really, it's still really great to look at. So, uh, paid two bucks. I'm going to ask like 12, 13 bucks, you know, make a quick 10 bucks off the kitty cat. Next thing I found was this bud vase. I bought it for two bucks because it's got the starburst pattern. Again, some of this stuff is like not... Uh, you know, they're not huge finds, but uh, cumulatively definitely worth the trip. So some of this stuff is just, you know, straight antique booth fodder. You know, I'm going to throw this in my booth for like eight bucks. I paid two, make six bucks. You, you know, you do this enough times with uh, this kind of stuff. And flea markets are great for this. Um, next thing I found for one dollar. Now, I've not cleaned these up yet, but they are, what are they? <clears throat> salt and vinegar oil and vinegar salt and vinegar man it has been a rough rough evening for me uh trying to get <laughs> trying to get this recorded uh look at this look at these two guys that you know 60s no chips no cracks i paid a buck for these this is easily 15 dollars. this is 14 dollars of profit uh, in my booth, I'll definitely get 15 bucks for them. They're, the corks are good. Everything's good about these. Uh, it says Japan. That's all it says on the bottom. So, I don't know. You know, pay a buck. That's what's great about flea markets. It's like the stuff is so cheap. Like, this is a hand-blown glass uh, pitcher. Three dollars. Three bucks. I mean, that's, for me, in my booth, that's 15 bucks. All day long. Now, I... I saw this was a, a cool vintage item that I got. I didn't even dicker on the price because I just liked them. And uh, not that I always try to. If the price is good, I I'll just pay what they're asking. You know, like uh, these were uh, three and two dollars pretzels and crackers. And I like the font. They're old. They have that old school stopper thing in there. For me, my booth, this is 24 bucks all day long. I paid uh, five, so 19 bucks profit, easy peasy. Um, now I did a bundle with a lady and made a made kind of a big mistake. Well, it wasn't. A, it's not a big mistake. If it's a mistake, it's a four dollar mistake. So is that a big mistake? I don't think so. And here's the mistake. I'll show you the mistake first. So we were doing a bundle situation, and I saw these. And they're just birds in good, in good old frames. And this is probably from a tea towel uh, that a lady cut up and put in these frames. Got a blue jay there. What is that? What is that? A finch? What is that? What is that? A finch? Grackle? What is that? A grackle? No, I don't know what these birds are. But um, th these were four bucks. And I'm, uh, I guess that's not a huge mistake, but it's just a matter of, I, I'm not going to, they take up too much space to hang. I'm going to have to put a rubber band around them, put them in my booth and say all for, you know, what, $14. I'll make 10 bucks off this. But I just think the more I look at it, it's like, ah, eh, I, I don't know. I, I was just in the mood to buy, I think. So these were four, but in that bundle, I got these two napkin holders for two bucks each these go for around you know ten to fifteen dollars 
Uh, they have their little, their, this one's in the little stand. This one's just straight Lucite. Uh, so two bucks each on those. Two dollars for this random vase. Which, you know, is probably going to get me 15 bucks. And this, what do they call this? Moonstone. Not quite hobnail, it's moonstone, iridescent uh, piece of glass, which I really liked. This is kind of why I wanted to do the deal in the first place. What's happened? Spider webs? Yeah, we're doing a show from the basement. So this was about five bucks. So the whole bundle cost me $17. And I was least happy with the, the tea uh, towel cut up birds. But again, you know, you're playing loose and fast out there. Like, this was a weird thing. This lady had a bunch of stuff in her, on tables and stuff. And I was looking at these uh, coat hangers. And, uh, like, I just picked one up. And she goes, those are $3 each, two for five. And she only had two, which is, which is really weird. Uh, she just had these two, and they're... Uh, from a company, and they're not like, they're not old. They're, this is, uh, you know, uh, Ames, I did, I think Ames, Herman Miller or Ames did a, uh, a real famous one of these, um, that you sometimes, I found one a long time ago, um, but this is newer, and, uh, but it does have the look, the aesthetic of what I'm going for, so I just, I bought them for five dollars, because I know I can sell these easily for 15 bucks each in my booth easily i will not say they're old i will not say they're retro i will not blur the lines i will leave the tags on them and say new you know cool coat hangers and they'll sell it so 15 each uh 30 bucks i paid five so that's 25 dollars profit on that now <clears throat> speaking of retro and uh, things that are always going to be hot and collectible. This was two bucks. I have not taken any of the stickers off yet. I haven't. I mean, this is the condition I bought it in. Two bucks. And it's not in bad condition. Uh, and I think it's probably going to get me 15 to $17. But it's a New Kids on the Block lunchbox. Who wouldn't want this at two bucks? So I jumped on that. Same dealer had this sweet wooden tiki, and I was bracing for. I was. I think I. I think I was telling myself I'm a buyer at 15. And uh, I go, how much you want for the tiki? And he's like, five bucks. And I was like, sold, American. Let's do this. Uh, this is great. It's got good age on the back. You can see uh, Just a great looking tiki. It's probably to me. It's probably like 28 bucks I'll probably sell it for about 28 to 30 bucks for this cool Yeah, I mean it's about I don't know 20 inches high great look everything I've ever had vintage tiki has sold so I'm in good shape on this now uh, the last thing I found uh caught my eye and I jumped on it because I've sold similar things before in the past yeah there it is take it in two giant metal peacocks yep uh, and um as soon as I saw these, I wanted them because they are enormous. They're like, yeah, they're three feet across and uh, in really good shape. Uh, that's what you want to look for with these. They're not terribly old. These are probably from the 60s, maybe 70s. Uh, and they are original. And uh, I had smaller ones before that I sold for about $40. So this is a larger size. Uh, some of them are in kind of an aquamarine and gold these are just straight gold and they're pretty spectacular if i'm if i'm being honest and uh looking at this objectively these two peacocks uh lady had uh what she have on these 
fifteen dollars for the pair and uh i was like would you take would you take ten dollars for them and she said how about 12 and that's where we met i paid 12 bucks for the giant peacock so i think i'm gonna get 50 plus for the peacocks i'm gonna start out asking probably 59 for the pair so i'd like to get 60 bucks for them I may not. I might end up marking them down and taking, you know, 50 or whatever. But still, off of 12, uh, that's a good price. So I spent 54 on everything you see. $54. Did I leave anything out? I don't think so. When it's all said and done through eBay, through my booths in Pittsburgh, I am going to make $256 off of 54 256 off 54 and anyone can do it you don't have to have a booth you can do it through facebook marketplace ebay and uh uh what i would do is keep watching my show mid mod money i'll i'll share any tips that i have uh thank you for you uh watching these videos and remember to always round up